the special election approaches for State Senate District 19, WIS-TV wants to help voters get to know the candidates and drill down on some of the most relevant issues. We've invited all of the candidates in the Democratic primary to join us for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Joining us today is candidate Kimbrell Garvin. Thank you for being here. It's great to be here, Bill. So we'll jump yeah. into the question. What makes you the most qualified candidate for the seat? Great question, Billy Jean. It's so great to be on today. Again, my name is Cambrell Garvin. I'm a current member of the South Carolina House of Representatives, where I've served since 2018. Mm -hmm. um, I've been in that body now for the, almost the past six years, and I've served well. Um, District 77 uh, out in Northeast Columbia and Blythewood. I'm very familiar with the county. I'm very familiar with the city as well and the issues that the Senate District faces, given that my house district sits squarely within the uh, Senate District 19. Um, Senate District 19 is a broad district. There are many uh, various uh, diverse crowds, um, diverse issues, and obviously diverse people. And I think I'm best suited to serve given my legislative experience. I, I, will, I am the only candidate in the race who brings that level of, of experience. And really in this state, the, the way we get things done is through having the ability to have relationships with people on both sides of the aisle, and I have those. So I look forward to continuing to literally walk across the hall and from one chamber to the next as our senator. According to the latest numbers, it's estimated that 11.8% of Richland County families live in poverty. Mm -hmm. What are specific ways that you would address that? Yes, absolutely. Poverty and pulling pe people out of poverty is something that's really, really important. And I'll say this, as a, as a state legislator, we have a, a huge ability to be able to impact uh, jobs and, and ensuring that we're bringing good paying jobs into our community. As a, as a member of the General Assembly, I've been very big on economic development, ensuring that people within our community, uh, in Richland County specifically, have an opportunity to get good paying jobs. Scout Motors, a multi-billion dollar deal, is coming to Richland County. The largest deal of its kind, not just in Richland County, but in the state of South Carolina. Though we wanna make sure that our young people are ready on day one to get those jobs. And so that starts now in high schools by ensuring that they're job and career ready. Um, so we're very excited about, about that initiative and wanna continue to push those sorts of business um, uh, initiatives to better move our community forward. What, let's talk about leadership. Give us an example of how you have brought people together to address an issue or community problem. Absolutely. So in our community, there have been many issues of gun violence that have plagued our community for the past couple of years. Just recently, we had four teens shot and three, and three of those teens were killed by other young people. Um, so gun violence continues to be something that we're very, very concerned about. We called a meeting of community leaders, myself and several other uh, elected officials. We brought together pastors, brought together community presidents, and brought together just folks in the neighborhood to say that these are our children and we can't lose them to gun violence. We can't lose them to gangs. So we had this meeting and not only are we meeting, but we're putting plans and, and initiatives into, uh, uh, into action. And I think by doing this, while this won't be a quick solution, it will certainly be something that will take time, but it was something that we can certainly look forward to to hopefully seeing a reduction in this gun violence. If elected, what would be your top priority and at least one measurable goal? Absolutely, ensuring that, ensuring that our students uh, receive uh, the best education, ensuring that our people have access to health care, ensuring that we increase the minimum wage in our state, ensuring that people have, that this generation has a, just, a good, just as good of an opportunity as the previous generations to really recognize and live the American dream. I think it's really important that we bring diverse voices to the state le legislator, and if elected, I will be the youngest member elected to that body. So really bringing a new perspective is, I think, uh, essential, and I, I look forward to being able to bring that voice to the Senate. Senator John Scott, who formerly held this seat, was a big believer in public education. Yeah. According to the state report cards just released, a number of schools in Richland County schools scored below average. Mm -hmm. What ideas do you support to help turn those scores around? Absolutely. I'm a former public school teacher. Spent three years in the classroom down in Colleton County, South Carolina. Very rural community. And I'll tell you, I know firsthand the struggles that our teachers face. Number one, they don't feel like they're valued. And number two, um, they also could be paid more. Since as a member of the General Assembly, 
we're working on those things. We've increased teacher pay. We've been, um, done things to certainly increase uh, their capacity in the classroom as well. Uh, as a member of the Senate, I want to continue to be a voice for educators. Um, there aren't many teachers in either chamber. There aren't many people who have recent classroom experience like I have. So I know what it's like to work, you know, from early in the morning to, to late at night and have to go to a second job. And so I know to all of our teachers that are out there, thank you for being an educator. Thank you for teaching. And I, and I want to continue to be your voice in the General Assembly. If elected as the next Senator of District 19, what can voters expect of you mm -hmm. and from you? Absolutely. Folks who, who have, I have served over the past almost six years know that I show up. And in District 19, Senator Scott would say, we do work. Uh, we don't just talk ab about it. We put boots on the ground. We, we're, in our, we're in our community on a regular basis. We are working hard to ensure that our community is moving forward. So folks can expect me to answer their phone call in the same manner that I've done. They, they can expect regular legislative updates, and they can expect a leader who will listen, who will be their voice, fighting for them in the State House. And I look forward to, to having that opportunity to do just that. Camberell Garvin, thank you so much for joining us. You can watch all of our candidate interviews on the elections page at WISTV.com. As a reminder, early voting for the special election primary runs through October 20th, and the primary date is October 24th. Once all of the primary candidates have been identified, we will invite all of the candidates back before the special election, which will be held January 2nd of 2024.